Hi, welcome to the Wonderfox channel. In this video, we'll show you how to cut an MP3 audio file in VLC. Before you start, it is important to know that VLC does not have a dedicated trimming function. The way to cut audio files in VLC is to use its recorder button. The first step is to open your MP3 file in VLC. Then click the View button on the menu bar and toggle the Advanced Controls option. At the bottom of the playback window, you can see a set of recording buttons appear. If you want to set a new output folder, you can hit the Tools button on the menu bar and open Preferences. In the new window, click on the Input and Codex tab and move down to the Files section. Click Browse to set your file destination. Don't forget to hit the bottom Save button. To trim the MP3 audio accurately, you can play it first to make sure the start time and end time of the segment you want to keep. For example, here is my test MP3 song. The first 8 seconds are silent and I want to remove them. To do so, I play the MP3 song and once reach the point where the music starts, I hit the red record button. It will start recording. I let the music continue playing, and when it reaches the desired endpoint, I press the red record button again to stop recording. I could then find my trimmed MP3 song in the folder I selected earlier. Well, that's all about how to cut MP3 in VLC player. As you have seen, the trimming feature in VLC is very limited and lack of precision. If you need a simpler and more efficient MP3 trimmer, you can try Wonderfox HD Video Converter Factory. This is a functional multimedia toolkit and offers a free version and a pro version. The trimming steps are the same. Thus, I'll take the Pro as an example to show you how to trim MP3 easily using it. You can get its installer by checking out the guide link below in the video description. Then launch it and open the converter. Drag and drop your MP3 file into the converter interface. Hit the scissor icon to open the trim window. This program enables you to input the start time and the end time to make a more precise selection. Alternatively, you can drag the blue sliders to select the desired section. After selection, hit the trim button to confirm your clip. Repeat this step. You can get multiple clips. Hit OK to back to the main conversion workspace. Then, enter the right side format library to choose an output format. You can keep the MP3 unchanged or save the trimmed audio in another audio format as needed. Finally, hit the run button to export your clips. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. We also included some tips to fix issues many people have when cutting MP3s with VLC. Feel free to comment and leave your feedback.